Hey, look at that! We've got an original stage for once. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nobody, and welcome to Studioopolis Zone. Or Studiopolis Zone. Whichever you want to call it. I call it Studioopolis. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be called. So, this is... Without a doubt... Or, this was the first stage that was revealed. Well, the first original stage that was revealed. Ah! This was the first original stage that was revealed, along with the Green Hill Zone, when this game was first announced. And it looked amazing. And, lo and behold, it transferred into an amazing stage. This is a really, really fun place. I love all the gimmicks, and the second act is really, really fun. Still haven't figured out what those blue rings do. Hello, what are you? A bouncer. Tails! Damn it. Oh well. Hello. What does this do? Um... Am I going the right way? I don't think so. What's this way? Hey! I see you! So that's what's this way. And look at that! So this was one of the ones that I found earlier, and this was the first special stage to hang me up. And by that I mean it took me a really, really long time to beat it. But I did beat it eventually, and then I moved on to the next one and regretted every second I was on it. But hey, maybe this skill will transfer into a first time win this time. You never know. I mean, you could. As long as I don't run off the stage. So yeah, you can run off the stage. There are bumpers on the side that do help, but you can actually run off. So you need to be real careful and make sure that if you are going to run off or run into the grass, that you are running into bumpers. Because they will help. And look at that, we've reached Mach 3. Took the shortcut, and we are already right behind the UFO. And yeah, they're called UFOs. But I guess you could saw, see that if you were watching the thing. So this is kind of like F-Zero, in a weird way. Ah! Crap. So close. So close. So close. So close. So close. So close. You are mine! Cool, I got a first time win. That's a first on this stage. Cool. <clears throat> so we now have three Chaos Emeralds. We need four to get the good ending. I assume there's a good ending in this game. If there wasn't, I'd be kind of upset. I mean... You know... The Chaos Emeralds are kind of important, yo. Wee. Wee. Oh yeah, what's this? Angry, sad, depressed, dead. It makes me feel bad to kill those guys, but then I kind of laugh because their faces start changing. Oh jeez, Tails, get off it. So how does that work? Does Sonic just like instantly beam into the TV? Or, like, how does he go from physical to... Whatever, I'm overthinking it. So this is our boss fight, or our mini boss, midway boss, whichever you want to call it. And the object for this boss fight is to hit the blue missiles and avoid the red ones. The blue ones will home back in on the target, the red ones will automatically hurt you no matter what. As you can see, I am not very intelligent. And I dislike following my own rules. I got gotcha. you. Hey, look, it's back. Is he flying with a club? 
That's not cool. That's also not cool. You know what? Spinning to you. No. Hey, did we win? I think we won. Just in time, too, because we ran out of rings. Oh, crap. Crap. No! Hey, look. First death. Alright, well, let's try again. Like I said, the object is to hit him with his own blue missiles. And unfortunately, sometimes you don't always get rings. If you want to be really good about it, you can roll straight into the blue missile. And also, um, as soon as the blue missile hits him, he uh, always, always, always destroys all the other ones. So you don't need to worry about it. Just hit the blue one and then try to avoid everything else. You don't even need to worry about jumping over him. You just need to avoid it. This is going to be a problem. Jump over. Jump over. Spin into. And fall back. Look at that. That was all easy. All right. Okay, you can also see what's coming by looking at the pattern he fires them in. Which is actually really helpful if you want to be able to, you know, make sure you're not going to get wrecked. Also, I think you can choose which path you go just by pressing up or down. I could be wrong, but I think that's how that works. Alright, so we gotta jump over the first one and roll straight into the second one. I'm down for that. And that's boss. So he abandoned the helicopter. Is that a subway? That was a subway. Very nice. Eggman TV. All right, let's see if we can find another special stage ring. I've had stranger things happen, so. See, look, they get so sad when they're about to die. It makes me feel depressed. But then I remember they're going to kill me if I don't kill them, so. It's okay, buddy. I'll put you out of your misery. Maybe they get really... Maybe they hurt when you take away their balls. <laughs> If it's not going in some kind of list, I should put it in one. Wow. Hey, look, they can defend themselves. Well, they can attempt to. It's alright, I got this. Don't get up. Hey! <laughs> I did find another one. And that's not even the one that I found originally on this level. So this is the special stage that I got hung up on when my footage basically got screwed. And that's why. If you don't time that jump perfectly, you screw yourself. You could just run over the ramps, but what's the fun in that? So we wasted a special stage, but don't worry, I'm sure we'll find another one. Besides, all you have to do is look. It just takes a little bit of exploration to find everything you're looking for. Although in the later stages that becomes a bit harder. Cool. Boing, boing, boing. Those balloons are a little weird. Hey, this looks familiar. You prick! I didn't know electric microphones were my new enemy. 
Still though, that's actually kind of creative. Honestly, this whole zone's pretty neat. It's kind of very 80s, like, television studio. It almost gives me kind of like a game show type feel. Or maybe like you're on a movie set, I guess is what you're going for with all the like, you know, the clippies and whatnot. But it almost gives me kind of like a game show type feel. Oh, so is this what you're supposed to do? Hey, I got 30 rings out of it. So where's this going to send me? There's a lot of teleports in this place, like, oh my god. Also, this game, surprisingly, has... I have a very easy time racking up rings in this game. Oh, the boss fights are really, really neat. So check this out. He uses the elements. If I let go, there's spikes up there. Ooh, I didn't see this one. Oh, crap. So I have to stay under him? He's gonna blow the wind again. By the way, that chicken is from, um... Uh, uh, oh god. Mushroom Hill Zone. Wow, 529 degrees? Jesus Christ. Uh, he also has another one where it rains and he summons lightning clouds, which is really neat. He did that one a lot in our first encounter. Also, that drop dash is really, really fun. I don't find myself using it a lot, but when I do use it, it's really helpful. Flying Battery Zone returns, and I'll see you guys next episode on Flying Battery Zone.